Hi, uh, today we are going to basically look at some functionality offered by the uh, NCBI um, database for uh, cloning ORFs from bacterial genomes. First of all, the ORF uh, we are interested in uh, cloning um, comes from a particular bacterium, Cuprivatus metalloderans. So we will look for this particular bug's genome in the all databases section of the NCBI site. Um, so we type in the the name of the bug, making sure that we get the spelling right, and click on go. And what we basically get then is a summary of that keyword and its presence all over the Entree uh, databases, and we are happy to know that there's 27 genomes that match the name Cuprivatus metallodurans. If we now click on the uh, genome tab, we can then get a list of the 27 genomes that uh, get pulled up with that particular keyword, um, and we can scroll through these genomes. Or um, using the Firefox find function, we can uh, basically look for metalloderans, and there it is. And uh, what we then find is that we have sequences for the chromosome 2, chromosome 1, and a bunch of plasmids. Now, we know from some background reading that. Uh, the really long chromosome shown here, which is chromosome 1, has the gene that we are interested in. So clicking on that pulls up a whole lot of information on that particular genome. And here is a genome map for the genome, but we will actually go one step back, only because it's uh, less information on this page. And here's an important feature of the NCBI site, which is often overlooked, uh, partly because it's on one corner. But the links tab here opens up a pop-out with a whole bunch of uh, sublinks. And today we are interested in cloning proteins from the genome, so we'll click on protein. And what we basically get is a list of all 3,601 proteins in the bug Cuprivatus metallodurans. If one now looks at the uh, history tab, which is another useful feature, you see basically the searches we did and, uh, well, the current search, ignore uh, the search history, but the current search is basically uh, 3,601 protein links for the genome that we are interested in cloning out of and now is a very powerful feature which is combining searches so we want a combination of search number three and add an additional keyword and that's done very easily by doing number three and chloride and if we click go we then get a list of the three ORFs that are all chloride channels for this particular bug and uh, Again, note the additional sublinks here. The blink is a, a detailed list of pre-compiled blast searches. The conserved domains is a detailed list of conserved domains which are in each of these ORFs. And the links, as before, pulls up a whole bunch of sublinks. Uh, if one now looks at the actual entry, you then get some detailed information on this entry and uh, the CDS record has the nucleotide sequence. Uh, before we click on the CDS link you will note that it is basically coded by the complement the start and the stop uh, bases are given here uh, so when we do click on the CDS link we will basically get the GenBank entry now in its full form uh, but there's two features here. It is hidden the sequence and hidden le lesser features. So if we scroll down, we see that the sequence is basically 
not uh, included in this bottom section. So we deselect those and click refresh and what you basically then get is the detail sequence and the start AUG is obviously not there because this is the reverse complement and that's the final feature that we will explore today and if we just select reverse complement and uh, we see the refresh button and then go back all the way down to see that we now have the ORF that we're interested in. We can send this entry to a file or to text or to the clipboard and do further processing for cloning and primer design purposes.